Hello and welcome back to another Chris G review video. So today we will be taking a look at the Windsor and Newton Cotman series watercolor paints. So the Windsor and Newton brand, first of all, the Windsor and Newton brand is a brand from England uh, and they have been around for a, a, a pretty long time in the world of watercolor. <laughs> So uh, they are, you know, one of those brands that have, since they've been around for such a long time, they've built up a very good reputation in the realm of watercolors. So that is the Windsor & Newton brand. The Cotman series, which is what these watercolors are. So the Cotman series, which is what these watercolors are, is the student grade version of the artist grade watercolors from the Windsor and Newton brand. Uh, how you will be able to distinguish between the two, first of all, Cotman. If it says Cotman on the box or on the color, on the tube of paint, or if it says Cotman on the, uh, the individual pan of the paint, it's obviously going to be the student grade. But how you can tell by packaging is the Cotman series will be in blue packaging and the artist grade uh, Windsor and Newton uh, packages will be white. So that is how you can distinguish by color uh, the two if you're going out and you're going to buy some Windsor and Newton colors. Uh, if you're looking for the artist grade, make sure you find the white box, okay? And it does not say Cotman. Student grade is Cotman. So, uh, yeah, so the Cotman is the student grade of the Windsor and Newton line. There are 40 colors in the Cotman series. Uh, you can buy the Cotman watercolor sets. Uh, well, first of all, they have 10 boxes like this. They have a 10 box of 12 colors, and they also have a 10 box of 24 colors. You can also buy this set in uh, various different types of uh, boxes, uh, sets of colors. So you can get them in the, uh, probably the most popular one is the 12 color Cotman set and it's called the Pocket Sketchers uh, set, the Pocket Sketchers set. But it's a very small box. I think the box is equivalent to the size of an iPhone 6 or seven, the regular size, uh, the seven or six plus will be larger than the uh, pocket box. So that just gives you an idea of size. It's smaller uh, than the a, a pocket box like a, from Schmincke or Rembrandt. This style of box is actually smaller than this. Uh, it's longer, but the width is is a thinner box. So it's easier to put in your pocket than this one. This one's kind of wide, so it feels weird when you try to put it in your pocket. But the uh, Pocket Sketchers box is about the size of a, a cell phone, or smaller than some of these cell phones nowadays with these big, huge screens. So that's that. Uh, of course, they also have like the Traveler Sketcher box, which is a Cotman series box that comes with like a, a bottle of water and a sponge and all of these different things that you can use to help you sketch. But the ones that I bought were the 10. These were the first uh, watercolors that I bought. Um, yeah, these were the first watercolors that I bought. I bought a set from a local store that were um, watercolor-ish. <laughs> The grade was very, very low on those. So I went out and I bought these student grade watercolors just to get me started. And I enjoyed them. Only thing was, since I bought two of these, um, one set I did not use, which is this set, the 24 set. This still pretty much brand new. I opened up the Burnt Sienna and the uh, Payne's grade just to take a look at them. But I used the 12 set, so that's the one we're gonna look at. If you read the box, it says that whatever colors they have available at the time of creating these sets is what goes into the set. So the colors might vary uh, just a little bit from set to set, but it'll still be the same base uh, colors. The names might be different, pigments might be a little different. First of all, let's take a look at this. This is a 10 box. 
Uh, of course, it's a generic box just with the Winsor & Newton brand name on it. This box can be found without a brand name and you can buy it empty and it'll be the same exact box. Uh, this is the blue box and as you saw, this other box is black. I personally prefer the black box over the blue uh, just because I like how the black box looks. But the blue box is okay. It's the same box, just a different color. Uh, on the back, you have your, uh, your ring for your finger to go through. Like I said in my previous video, I like to put my middle finger through the ring so the box fits in my palm. Some people like to use their thumb, but this feels weird to me. Opening up the box, uh, you have four large mixing wells across the top, and then you have uh, five mixing wells across the bottom. Do not worry about this. This is the Prima Marketing. I mean, yeah, the Prima Marketing Tropical Set. I put it in this box because there was space. If you didn't see that review, check that out. I'll link that right here. But continuing on with these Cotman Series watercolors. So because these are water, I mean, uh, because these are student grade watercolor paints, the, uh, the intensity of these paints is going to be lower than that of artist grade paints. That being said, the reason is is because the student grade paints have more filler in them than pigment. I mean, they have more filler than the artist grade paints do. And what filler does is uh, it basically makes it so you don't have to put so much pigment into the paints. It makes it cheaper uh, to produce, but the quality and the intensity of the paints goes down a little bit. Um, these paints are of course a pan set so this was a 12 set of colors and these are the 12 colors that came in the set not these on the bottom but these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve colors across the top uh, you get two yellows two reds uh, two blues two greens three earth tones and one black i don't remember the names of these exactly but i wrote them down i'll show you the swatches in a minute first i just want to talk about how these colors work uh, and the difference between the artist grade that you might get. So these are pan colors. You can also buy Cotman series in tube uh, form as well, which is a good thing. It's student grade, but it, you can still buy it in a tube. The half pans are difficult to get paint out of. It's it's kind of difficult to re-wet these paints, especially this. This is a, I want to say cerulean blue. And as you can see, it almost looks brand new. And that's because no matter how much water I put on this thing, I could not get it, you know, a good amount of pigment off of this pan. Just really difficult to do. Uh, down here, the burnt umber at times can be exactly the same. Actually, a, a, a lot of these paints. I, I'd just say in general, uh, the Cotman series, especially the half pans, are difficult to uh, re-wet and to pull pigment off of. Because these are student grade and they have more filler in them, the paints come out a little chalky, a chalky looking when I say that. But if you can tell, and even if I rub my finger across them, you can hear how dry they are. Like this is my finger rubbing across just a regular pan with no paint. This is the paint, okay? So you can hear how dry the paints get. And uh, I think that just shows how uh, chalky the paints are. If you compare that, for instance, to artist grade watercolors. Okay, so you can just look and you can tell how, how juicy looking these colors are, even though they're dried up on the tray, compared to these. Okay, you can, I hope you can see it. 
but it's definitely a difference between the two. Some people argue that the Cotman series is just like Artist Grey watercolors. I can't agree with you on that. The Cotman series is student grade and they perform like student grade paints. Uh, they're very good, let me put it like that. The quality of the colors and when you put the colors on paper, it comes out very nice. I'm not gonna take that away from them, but at the end of the day, they still are student grade paints and the uh, you know, the difficulty of re-wetting the paints, uh, the way that the paints dry, and that they're chalky when they're dry. Um, and I think I, I just said intensity. But yeah, all of those things factor into these being student grade paints. Okay, so here's the swatches I did for these paints. Uh, mind you that this paper is uh, off-white. This is not pure white paper. Uh, but as you can see, most of the colors are pretty transparent. I made sure I colored outside of the line so you can see how transparent each of the colors are. Uh, the yellow ochre is a very nice uh, deep yellow ochre. And for it to be student grade, it, it came out very nice. Uh, I like the ultramarine blue in this set. The viridian. Viridian is the one that I could not get. Oh no, Prussian blue. I'm sorry. Prussian blue is the one that's so difficult to get off of the pan. Um, I know Prussian blue is a lighter blue, but it's very difficult to get off of the pan. And I'll just show you the Prussian blue in here. So this is Prussian blue. And it was, it's like a rock. This thing is solid. And it's so hard to re-wet that color. And these are dry, and the Prima Marketing colors are sticky. So they've been in the box for a while, too, and they still are nice and wet. Um, looking at the other colors, I mean, you can take a look around the paper and see what the colors look like. It is a, a, a decent amount of colors. This is a cadmium red pale, which really, to me, to my eye, looks more like an orange instead of a red. Then rose matter. Rose matter is a nice uh, kind of uh, cool red color. Of course, you got your warm lemon yellow. Uh, I mean, your cool lemon yellow and your warm uh, cadmium blue. And I guess they tried to give you a warm and cool of your primary. So you got your warm uh, ultramarine, cool Prussian blue. Um, Viridian hue, sap green for your greens, and then you have three earth tones and your black, that black. So this painting was done with the Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors. And as you can see, I mean, it's a very nice, vibrant painting. The colors came out really well. Uh, the ultramarine across the top, you do get some granulation with the colors. This is a uh, yellow ochre for the ground. And then I mix like the viridian uh, green and sap green to get these colors with yellow ochre. And then this is the Indian red right here, as you can see right there. And uh, the colors worked out very well. Sap green in the back with a little burnt umber in it to brown down the green. And uh, like I said, I enjoyed the colors. I still, this is still one of my favorite paintings and it was done with the student grade paint. This again was done with the Cotman series. And it's the same, uh, same colors that uh, I use in the other set. So this is your, uh, let me just look at the names, Cadmium Red Pale. Cadmium Red Pale, then you have, uh, this is Sap Green mixed with a little Lemon Yellow to uh, brighten the green up. And then using Burnt Umber with Sap Green to do the shadows, burnt umber, and ultramarine for the gray tones, as you can see right here. Rose matter, ultra, I mean, rose matter for the shirt. This is the uh, yellow ochre with a little burnt umber to get the uh, tones. Sap green for the trees, ultramarine blue for the sky. And then this is like uh, Indian red 
and this is ultramarine and uh, burnt umber to get these colors on the side. Cotman series is a uh, a good set of paints. It's uh, usually very easy to find no matter where you are in the world. The Windsor & Newton brand is usually uh, available in very out of the way places. Uh, second plus would be that the price of these paints is on the lower end, especially if you do the plastic uh, pocket box. It is the probably the cheapest of the Cotman series box sets that you can buy and also the most popular. These tins are a little more expensive. I guess it was about $20 for these pan sets. I think it was about uh, 20 for the 12 color pan set. And then this one was almost like $30 for the 24 set. It could just be because uh, the price is up where I am because of, you know, the, the materials having to be shipped in and they're taxed. But the aluminum, uh, the metal boxes are going to be more expensive than the plastic boxes. So if you're going to get a 12 color set, I recommend if you're going to get a 12 color set and you want a metal box, just go with the Prima Marketing watercolor set like this, a 12 color box uh, with the colors inside. So. I think if you're going to get a 12 set and you want a metal box, just go for the premium marketing, better quality, uh, and the price is going to be a little lower or about the same as a Cotman series watercolor set, okay? So I recommend these. I'll link my review to these watercolors right there. So make sure to check that out. So. If they're cheaper where you are, I say go ahead and buy them. If you're, uh, if you're just getting the watercolor, if you don't know, you really want to get deep into it. Uh, if you just want to try out watercolor, if you're uh, a younger artist, if you're a beginner, I would say, you know, try this out if it's cheaper than some of the other brands that are available. Go for it. Uh, grab the pocket box the pocket sketches box because when you're finished with that uh, the paints inside you can always switch them out for your own paints and it's such a small size it's very convenient you can just put it in your pocket and you're ready to go um, if you have a little more money and say if you're ordering off of Amazon if you're gonna order this set or a different set off of Amazon I would say go with the Prima marketing set because it's gonna be the same price as some of these Cotman series paints If you like the review, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any questions about the Windsor & Newton Cotman series, especially if you're a, a beginner artist, if you're young to watercolor, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you about it. Make sure you subscribe for more reviews because I'm going to be doing a lot more review videos and I'm also going to start doing some tutorials uh, every now and then using different materials. Uh, from markers to paints and uh, other things that I have sitting around. <laughs> so make sure you check those out. So you got to hit that subscribe button so you can make sure you stay tuned to those new videos that will be coming out. And that's it. I'm going to stop talking. This video is getting kind of long. It's 25 minutes already. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Peace.